Hello, everybody. Welcome to Collab Investments. Last time we talked about 401k and why Roth 401k is better. And this time, let's continue on this topic. So now you know Roth 401k is better. But what if you already chose 401k? What can you do? So one option is you can convert some or all your 401k to Roth 401k. But please remember, when you do that, it will generate income tax. If you convert 100k, you will pay income tax on this 100k. So now there's a question, is it worth it? If you already have a 401k, should you consider moving to Roth 401k? Okay, now let's look at the example. So check the table on the right. First, let's make a simple assumption. Assume your income tax rate is 50%. So you pay half as a tax. And also assume between now and the retirement, your investment in 401k will grow by 10x. And we'll use a green color and to show what will happen if you do not have any conversion. And we'll use the blue color to show what happens if you convert from 401k to Roth 401k. Now let's first look at the no conversion. So assume you start with $20K in your 401k already, and you have another $20K of a regular income. Okay. So for the money in your 401k, there's nothing complicated. 20K after you retire, it will grow by 10X. It becomes 200K. And then you need to sell and withdraw. After you pay 50% tax, you get 100K. Okay, so that's your 401k account. And also, you have another 20K dollar outside of 401k. But because this is 20K free tax, so you have to pay tax first. After you pay tax on 20K, you get 10K. And you invest this 10K into stock market, it will grow to 100K, also grow by 10X. And the capital gain is 100K minus 10K is 90K. You pay tax, half of that is 45K. So 100K minus 45K capital gain tax is 55K. So in the end, you get 100K plus 55K, which is 155K. Now, let's look at the blue person. You start with the same thing. You have 20K inside your 401K. And you have 20K pay tax. So first, this 20K you have to pay tax. It becomes 10K. And now you do a conversion. So when you convert 20K from 401K to Roth 401K, it is considered that now you have 20K income. And with 20K income, you need to pay tax. So how much do you pay? You pay half of them, you pay 10K. So your outside money, the 10K after tax dollar becomes zero. And you still have 20K in your Roth 401K. After many years, when you retire, you would have 200K to grow 10x. And then you withdraw the money, which is tax free, you get 200K. And finally, you have 200K in your hand. Compared to no conversion, where you have 155K, after the conversion, you get more money. So if you remember this uh, example, compare this example with the previous example we talked a few weeks ago, you will notice that they're exactly the same number. So if you already have existing money in 401k, you can consider them to Roth 401k for the same reason. And the intuition behind this is Roth 401k is a bigger bucket. It can hold more money 
and grow better. Okay, so if you want to do that, the first thing you may consider is for your future contributions, you change them to Roth 401k, or some companies call them Roth Basic, so that your 401k account no longer grew by putting in new money, and you put new money into your Roth 401k. And then you can decide to move money from 401k to Roth 401k in small batches, especially in a bear market, it's a good time to do because in a bear market, your account value in 401k drops because the stock market goes down. And now when you convert some amount from 401k to Roth 401k, it has more stock shares. The same dollar amount has more stock shares. It's worthwhile. And you can convert some each year until you're done. And in a bear market, you want to convert a lot, you can do dollar average down. So you can convert equal amount every week or every month, convert it for multiple times. And remember, next year, you will receive a tax form and you have to pay income tax on all the amount that you convert it. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. See you next time.